Okay, this is a second example problem involving the Arrhenius equation. So in this case, we're told that uh, the rate constant is 4.7 times 10 to the minus 3 inverse seconds at 25 degrees Celsius, and they give us the activation energy. And they want to know what is the rate constant at 75 degrees Celsius. So I don't think we can just jump right into 75 degrees Celsius. Uh, because they want to know K at 75 degrees Celsius, and while we know the activation energy, and we always know R, and they gave us the temperature, we don't know the frequency factor. However, at 25 degrees Celsius, the only thing we don't know is the frequency factor, right? So at 25 degrees Celsius, we know K, we know the activation energy, and we know R and T, so I think what our strategy here should be is to use the information they gave us at 25 degrees Celsius to calculate the frequency factor, and then once we have the frequency factor, we'll be able to calculate uh, what the rate constant should be at 75 degrees Celsius. All right, so uh, the other thing that we need to know uh, that wasn't written on here, uh, we need to know the value of R, and so R is 8.314 joules per mole times Kelvin. And so I want to solve for the frequency factor. Um, so as you probably know, I like to rearrange my equations first before I plug in the numbers most of the time. Uh, and so if I'm solving for A, uh, to isolate that, I think the easiest thing to do is multiply this times E to the positive EA over RT on both sides. So when we have an exponent raised to a negative power times the same base raised to the positive power, right, we'll just add those two um, arguments. And since I have minus E over RT plus E over RT, that's going to cancel to give me E to the zero or one. And so I end up with is oh, A is equal to K times E to the positive EA over RT. And before I go ahead and plug everything in, I just have to be aware of the units. So my R is in joules per mole times Kelvin. My activation energy is in kilojoules per mole. So I either need to convert my activation energy into joules or my R into kilojoules. It doesn't matter which way you go. I'm going to convert my uh, activation energy into joules. So I have one kilojoule is 10 to the third joules. So my 33.6 kilojoules per mole times one kilojoule, 10 to the third joules, I have 33,600 joules per mole. And then uh, the other unit we have to worry about is the temperature. So the temperature needs to be in Kelvin. So T is going to be 273 plus 25, so the temperature is 298 Kelvin. So now I can go ahead and plug everything in. And if we double check our units in the top, Right, I have, let's do that over to the side here. So in my argument here, the activation energy is in joules per mole. My R is in joules per mole times Kelvin. My temperature's in Kelvin, right? So the joules cancel, the moles cancel, the Kelvins cancel. And it should always be the case, the units in my, the argument of my exponent cancel out. And then the other units we have to worry about, A and the rate constant will always have the same units. So since my units on my rate constant are seconds to the minus 1, the units on the frequency factor should also be seconds to the minus 1. So I'm going to break this calculation into two steps. You could punch that whole thing into your calculator, but in case uh, you don't get the same answer I do and you want to check your work, I'll go ahead and write it out as two separate steps. So I'll leave K alone for now. And then when I solve for this, I get uh, 
5811. And I'm keeping more sig figs than I need. Uh, the sig figs are going to be determined by the frequency factor that only has two. So then when I multiply those out, the frequency factor that I get to two significant figures is 3600 seconds to the minus one. All right, now we're not done. That's the first part, uh, but I'm, we're out of room, so I'm going to go on to the next slide where we can finish the calculation. All right, so in the last slide, I uh, would determine the frequency factor to be this, and now I have all the information I need to uh, calculate the rate constant at 75 degrees Celsius. So first, let's get our correct new temperature in Kelvin, right? So now T is going to be 273 plus 75, and so we have 348 Kelvin for the temperature. Uh, I don't need to rearrange everything. My equation is already uh, solved for K, so my new rate constant is going to be 3600 E to the minus 33600 over 8.314 times 348. So I'll break it up into two steps again. We've got 3,600 times, I get 9.05 times 10 to the minus 6. And when I multiply those out, I get for the rate constant at 75 degrees Celsius, 0 0.033, and then a and my initial rate constant and my final rate constant should all have the same units. And so this would be our final answer.